I'm going to show you how to make a complete advanced Raven system. All the scripts will be available in the description with the scene and projects. Right now, you don't even need to see the video, you can just install the project in the link down below. It's a Unity package that you will place and open it and open in your project. Go to the scene and you will see that everything will be right there. Now I'm going to continue the video for those who, of you who need help understanding the system and to explain a couple of important things you need to add to make it all work. I will start with this. So once you have installed my package and opened my scene, you will see a lot of problems. For all those of you who are still beginners, I will explain how my cameras work in this scene. I have added two cameras. One that only displays the player's weapon and another that displays everything else. Separating your world from your weapons will allow you to avoid the problem of your weapons passing through objects. So I use layers to separate them. To separate them. You will need to create three new layers that you will write exactly as they as I did. Exactly guys. A ground layer interactive and we have a layer. All surfaces where your player can walk, can walk will have the ground layer. In your player movement script, assign the right layer for the ground. All your weapons that the player hasn't picked up yet will have the interactive layer. And your arm, and your arm will have the weapon layer. Your main camera scanning mask must include all layers except the weapon layer. And the scanning mask for your weapon camera must only include the weapon layer. And you may choose this uh, option. Now, if you run the game, you will see that everything works very well. Your player can shoot, reload, pick up and drop weapons. When he shoots, a recoil effect is applied. And finally, with, with certain weapons, he has ammunition that will enable him to propel himself. Now I will show you how to modify the project to your liking. First of all, check this box in your open take script if the weapon will allow you to propel the player. Here you can modify the recoil values. In this script right here you can set a longer well, time between shots, for example on a shotgun. Right here you can set your maximum and starting ammunition. You can also change the visual effects of the bullets which are just raycast. Ray cast. And that's it. Of course, if you are having trouble with the project or want more help or scripts, I have set up a Discord server which is free for now. Thanks to all, I hope this video has helped you.